Rastafari, what's up y'all? Preston Smiles here. First and foremost, I just want to say I love you and say thank you for being a part of my tribe. If you're new to the tribe and, and, and you're just coming to these videos, just know that the Love's Voice tribe is a family and you are welcomed. So today's transmission bloop, 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 is a story that I heard uh, by a gentleman by the name of Alan Watts. If you are not familiar with Alan Watts, definitely YouTube or Google him, you will find some beautiful magic. And it's a story that he tells about this um, little girl that was begging her parents for a rabbit. She wanted a rabbit and you know how little kids can be. She just kept going and going and going until eventually they said, okay, mama, we'll take you to get a rabbit. And so she went to um, a pet store and there was hundreds of little rabbits in this little container and she picked out the rabbit of her dreams, the rabbit that was gonna be hers. And she looked at that rabbit, she said, I'm gonna love you so much. And she took the rabbit and they, they got in the car and she got in the back seat and she, she began to squeeze the rabbit with so much love that at a point, the rabbit was not able to breathe. And she squeezed it tighter and tighter and tighter because she loved it so much that she didn't want anybody else or anything to come between her and her new rabbit. And eventually, they pulled up to her house. And her parents came around to the back seat to take her out of her car seat. And as you can guess, she squeezed the rabbit so tight that it died. Now, how does this pertain to you and I? Well, in my humble opinion, this is a metaphor for, for how a lot of us treat our significant others. This is a metaphor for how a lot of us treat our dreams and our, our, our jobs and ideas. We, 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 we love them so much and our children, we love them so much that we try to squeeze them, we try to control, we, we don't want any, anything bad to happen and in doing so, we end up killing and squelching our own dreams our own family. We end up trying to control it so much that there's no space for it to be wild and free. You see, we live in a universe that is able to make a way out of no way. And when you get that tap on the shoulder, that idea that's calling you forward, the last thing you want to do is hoard it and grab it and try to squeeze it until there's no more air in it. There are lots of fires right now in California and one of the reasons why they're spreading so much is because the wind is taking it and moving those embers to different parts. And that's the same thing that your dreams are trying to do, but you must let go and let God, you must let go and let the universe flow and move it through, for, and as you. I get it. There's a part of you that's afraid, the fear the fear of losing has you squeezing so tight. But just like the palm trees and the trees in California, the reason why they don't break is because they flow, they flex with the wind. As the wind comes, they don't stay rigid, they flow and flex with it. And that is what I'm calling you, that's what I'm challenging you to do today. You guys, the key to this whole thing is to hear these messages and if they resonate, if, if there's some part of it that resonates with you, to use it today, right now, not to wait. This is real life stuff. And so right now, there is something or somebody that you're squeezing. And no, they're not dead. And it's not dead. But you must let go. You must let them do and be what they came to be. And so that idea, that job, that new girl that you're dating, that new guy that you want to control, I get it. It's coming from that deep wound, but you gotta let go. You gotta stop overthinking and start overflowing with joy. You see, the master key to this whole thing is for you to fill your cup and give from the overflow. The master key to this whole thing, to this self-made prison, is for you to experience and tap into your own beauty, your own magic, your own joy, and allow the harmony that is you to flow through the universe. And from that space, you become a beacon, a magnet, for all that is good, for all that is great, for all that is pure light and love. And so please, today, if you do nothing else, just let go. See what it feels like to let 
go. Matter of fact, please, in the comments right now, share something that you're going to let go and as a community, as a Love's Voice tribe, we will hold the high watch for that thing. Thank you all so much. If you're looking for any support in this process, I have a free training on how to overcome your fears and achieve more at PrestonSmiles.com forward slash overcome dash fear. If you see me on the streets, if you see me right now, I'm in Perth, Western Australia. If you see me wherever in the world, because you know we travel a lot, please come up and hug me. I am, we are, hashtag love's voice is going down in a beautiful major way. Live love, give love, be love. Ooh, ooh. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Rastafari. Let's get it, y'all. Let's get it.